it rained, of course, the day before we were supposed to leave and made everything a little bit muddy again. You see that that's what gets it stuck. Gotta invest in some off-road tires. Attempt one. What? No way. No way. <laughs> Wow, cleared it. First shot. I can't take much credit for that. I feel like it just having more momentum this time is what did it. Because when we pulled in, I was going like snail's pace. So the van had time to sink, so it really did it. Yay. I was like a 10 blunt because I didn't think yeah. we were going to make it. Could have gotten stuck in here, too. Yeah, that's why I went straight through it. This place was so sweet. And we're off. All this extra time now that we thought was going to be spent on getting us out of here, now we can spend oh, getting coffee. First things first is we're gonna get different stoppers. The heavy duty magnets don't work. For the other top cabinetry that we have, I don't know what they're called, but those are working. It's like you have two sides that are like this and then something that goes in between and like holds it in place. You know the name of that? Then yeah, because I don't think we can do another little road trip with these drawers rolling out. <laughs> <laughs> She's alive. <laughs> this is our friend Sid. How was your first day of work? Scary. The other kids were mean to me. Tell you, everyone was nice. You know, first days. They are what they are. Pretty slow going. I think we're going to drive for about as long as humanly possible after this. Cheers. Before we have to park up for work again. left Asheville at 6 p.m. The current time here in Little Rock, Arkansas is 4.50 in the morning. Yeah, we're beat. Talk to you in the morning. Here we are. Cracker Barrel, 2024, <laughs> June the 4th. How many hours was that drive? Uh, we were driving for ten and a half hours, probably. Just a bit delirious, so. Yeah, we made it pretty far, <clears throat> all the way to Little Rock from Little Rock, Arkansas, from Asheville, North Carolina. Um, we'll see how far we can get today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna push it like yesterday, but. Um, that was brutal. Yeah. I'm used to having like an eight hour night sleep. <laughs> so when I don't, I'm just thrown all out of whack. Like we got here at four or something. And then I woke up at 10 something. Yeah. And then he woke up and started working. Yeah. Bad man. He's the one that wanted to push this. Yeah. This guy. Right here. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> winner, winner. But thankfully, I'm just doing most of my like early training stuff at my new job. So. You know, it's not super strenuous or high mental capacity work right now. So that's why also we're just trying to drive through, but um, still a lot of open road ahead. We got to go through uh, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Albuquerque, Flagstaff. <laughs> and then- uh, We're really not stopping right now because we're trying to get to a destination, but maybe on the way home to Florida, we'll, you know, chill out and yeah see what other states have to offer yeah <clears throat> we really just want to get to uh where my dad is because we're visiting him and then we want to start heading to national parks so that we don't miss the window to see them yeah the cats are okay if you're wondering towards the last couple hours they were getting a little bit meh. they were not happy with us towards the end yeah they weren't crying or anything but you just tell they looked a little concerned that we were still driving after like eight hours. Yeah, they've never done that, so. Yeah. They were troopers. They were troopers. You were a trooper. Thanks. She stayed up with me. Didn't I have know. to, so. 
onwards now. Yep. Yay. Time to get more gas <laughs> or diesel. Maybe coffee. Maybe not. <clears throat> Who knows? There's some old people behind me getting in the car. It's cracker barrels. I didn't even budge with the tripod. <laughs> uh, First cracker barrel experience, to be honest, I had to be like a. I mean, it can't be a 10 out of 10. It's a Cracker Barrel, right? But I guess on the scale of, you know, Cracker Barrel stays, that was probably like a 9.5. Whoa. 9.2. I don't know. Like, I don't really have anything to compare it to. I'm just setting a high bar, I guess. That was pretty cozy. It was relatively quiet. The highway was really quiet. The parking lot was quiet. We actually had super fast service when we went into Cracker Barrel this morning. What a name. Come and go. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> if, you what? if you didn't know, we're five years old. You come in here and you go. <laughs> Let's see what he's looking at. Oh, yeah. I reckon. I'm not sure he's quite getting it. I don't think he's getting the shot, guys. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, no. He... <laughs> he's getting the shot. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're at 89 Agave. We made it to Sedona. We're going to be here for like just a day. This is the only spot we wanted to stop in take a moment to breathe before we go and head straight to Palm Springs but when it's better weather we're definitely going to be coming back it's just a bit hot at the moment keeping us cool out here with the misters though I think the last time I saw you, we were in Sedona eating a yummy meal, and then we went to a nice little creek. Next day, woke up really early at like 4.30 to head to California to see his dad in Palm Springs, and it's ending up being a very long drive now. We're in like stop traffic basically, because they closed down um, one of the lanes. That's just how she goes. Yep. You think you're gonna get a short drive for once and then boom! Just two grimy little van kids staying at this place in Palm Springs. We're out of this dad's place that he's stationed at while he works on a golf course. I'm trying to think of anything else. My brain is fried, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, so the we get, pull into the gate of the neighborhood and the lady's like, 
Your guys' vehicle is considered oversized <laughs> by the HOA, so you can only stay here for 16 hours at a time. Which, uh, we got here at like 1.15 in the afternoon. So that'll Quick make math it. Quick math for you. Yeah. 5 a.m. we gotta pull the van out. Or that's when citations start, and those start at $1,000 each. So we'll figure that out, but uh, for now we get to enjoy this, this place. Yeah. So we'll get you some shots of that over me talking about this, because who wants to watch me talk about this? Wow, what a reset. I was looking up there and seeing a little spike attack. It always looks so much higher than it is. 